Hello everyone and welcome to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. Welcome back. My name is Francesco D'Alessio and I'll be your host for today's video. So in today's video, we are doing apps of the month, January 2018. It's been about a month or two since I did the last apps of the month update. So I'm excited to share this back with you guys. So just before we dive into those apps of the month, I just wanted to thank our sponsor for apps of the month in January, which is FaxApp. FaxApp is a powerful faxing application, and for those who still fax, this is an ideal resource for you. The Vax app is really simple. You can scan in any documents or bring them in from your camera roll. You can import documents and it only costs about 25 cents to send over a full page in fax format. The application is available on the App Store and I'll include all of the information below. So just before we start, thanks very much to Vax app for sponsoring this feature. Let's dive into some apps. So the first application that I came across in the month of January was an app called Taylor. Now this application is very, very smart. What it does is it allows you to stitch together the screenshots you've taken on your iOS device. And this is really cool because sometimes when you're screenshotting a big long web page and you want to bring that all together, it can be a little bit tedious. So you can do that all inside the app Taylor and send that all on to the people you need to. Now this can be helpful for work or for other occasions and I think it could be a very useful app for you. So the next app is something I want to try, it's called Merge. Now Merge is a couples task manager. Now if you're like me and you've got a partner and you're looking to get things done with them, maybe it's chores for the house or planning like wedding or different occasions that you've maybe got, using a task manager can be very helpful. So Merge is a task manager that's specific for that occasion. You can assign stuff to your partner and you can even give them different projects and items to work on whatever time of day it is. Now it can be a really neat way to organize yourself and if you're looking to separate it from one of the big task managers that you use, then this might be handy for that. The next application is called Sketches. Now this is a sketch application that you can use to draw uh, really detailed drawings. If you've got an iPad Pro, it works with Apple Pencil and you can do really accurate drawings with this. I think sometimes it's nice to relax and grab a few moments to do a few lovely sketches or drawings. So this app is available on iOS to my knowledge and it comes with a really nice host of colors and pen options. Now, just before we move on to the next section of apps, make sure to check out Fax app. It'll be available in the description below for you to go and download. The next resource is Picnic. Now, this is a really neat family organizer app that I am going to be checking out in the full review very, very soon. Now, Picnic has been on my radar for quite a while, but it's a way for families to organize all of their projects, activities, and calendar all inside one gorgeous application. And the great thing is it has a beautiful design so you can see everything at a glance on this like Trello-y dashboards type screen. It's quite fantastic. And it's something that I'm gonna be trying out very soon. I know a lot of you guys and subscribers have kids and families and you want to keep organized with them and this could be a great tool for you. So do stay tuned for that review. The next one is Bring, uh, Bring with an exclamation mark at the end. If you want a dedicated simple task manager for shopping, this might be your application. It's a really simple tool, but it will just provide you with a way to section off shopping lists. Um, I know that many people make them on Google Keep or Apple Notes, but if you're looking for a shopping specific application, this might be handy. Now, the awesome thing about this feature is I'm going to be sharing a few Mac apps today, but I'm actually gonna be passing it over from Luke to Luke from Mac Square, who we've done a collab before. He done amazing videos on YouTube all about Mac apps, and he's going to be doing uh, today's Mac application. So stay around for him. He's got four awesome apps to check out and then come back to me. Hey, what is up guys? This is Max Square, and I wanna give a huge shout out to Francesco for inviting me back onto his channel. If you don't already know, we did a collaboration just about a month ago where we did a video on each other's channels, so be sure to check that out. He has a video on my channel, which I'm sure he'll put all the links down in the description, but huge thank you to him for organizing all of this. But in the next few minutes, I wanna show you four apps that I've been using for the first few weeks of 2018. First up, we have Flume. This is an Instagram client, which you can 
can actually download for free, but to get access to the pro features, I believe it's only about eight to ten dollars, but it is definitely worth it in my opinion. It's one of the cleanest Instagram clients out there, and you can really do a lot from just simply browsing to actually posting from your Mac. But what I find really cool is how much customization you get in the appearance settings. If you go over to the design menu, you can change from a dark to light mode, which is a huge feature in my opinion. You can up the font size, you can hide the title and all of the other details if you want to just keep it nice and clean to your photos, but you really have tons of options here. Now next up we have an app called Trello. This is one of my favorite to-do list apps. It's free to use. You can download the app for your Mac as well as your iOS devices. So the way it works is you create a board for a certain category. You'll see I have one for Mac Square as well as some things to do for school. But what you can do is just create a new board. Say you wanna call this work or whatever you come up with, you can hit create and then you can create a list inside of those boards. So if you just wanna create a simple to-do list, you can do that. But then you can also have another column for something like inspiration or ideas which you can just constantly add ideas to but if you actually select a task you can add more info in the description you can add some comments you can invite new team members to it and you can assign a due date Next up, we have an app called DisplayMate. Now this just simply sits in your menu bar and basically what it does is it just saves all of the positions of your apps and windows. So let's just say you open up a couple apps, you go up to DisplayMate and select save all window positions and then you try and move some of these windows, you can go back up to that app and select restore all window positions and it'll snap back to where you had them last. Now the reason I really like this app is because I have three displays and so I have apps all over the place and it's such a pain to have to set that up every time. So as soon as I get them where I want it, I can just save it with display made and anytime it gets moved, I can click one button and they all go back to where I like them. Now next up we have a menu bar timer called Be Focused. So if we go ahead and click on that, you'll see we have a really simple interface. You can enter a task name if you just wanna get reminded of whatever it is you need to do at the end of the timer. But if we go into the preferences, you can actually set those specific timers. You can enable notifications, sounds, all of those kind of things. So let's say you wanted to just change this to five minutes. You could just enter in that time there, hit start, and then you'll see that you have a timer in your menu bar so you don't even have to open up the app. Anyway guys, those are just a few of my favorite apps of January 2018. I hope you all enjoyed. Again, a huge thank you to Francesco. He's actually gonna be doing a video on my channel, so be sure to check that out as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed those Mac apps, those iOS apps, and, and then you might go and enjoy Fax app. I hope that you enjoyed today's feature. I hope it was useful, and hopefully you can go away and download some useful apps. Anyway guys, thank you so much for stopping by. If you're brand new to the Keep Productive YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to get regular updates on videos. And make sure to join the Facebook group in the description below. Anyway guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.